So, hello. Hey, so you think you're getting somebody to sleep over? Uh, I don't know. You know, my mom be tripping. I gotta find out though. The door was just open. family can relate to this because I don't know every family but I know that the black families can relate to this hardcore as far as you asking like you asking your parent for anything and they're on the you're they're, like they're on the phone and you like mom you know you try and talk to her she on the phone and then she says no most most parents say no to sleepovers and shit you know what I mean until they feel comfortable with the with the friend it doesn't really matter. But however your parent is, they gotta feel comfortable with the front first. But uh, when he closed that door while she was talking, that hit home. I was like, oh, <laughs> "You just walked out while your mother was talking." Fuck man. And, and as soon as they showed the scene where she like walked out the door, like, uh, uh, I was like, "Oh, he about to get it. He about to get it." Bro. I probably did that like a once or twice. Bro, like, I, I lesson learned. I've never walked away from my mother while she's talking. Like anybody else, I walk away from, but never my mother. Never. Come on, you don't do yeah, don't never do that. Never would like just. She, I will make sure she's done, whether I got an attitude or not. Even if I got an attitude, I'm like, are you finished? As long as I know she's finished, I, I'm. You know what I mean? That's when you walk away. But yeah, when I uh, like when my mom was ever on the phone, I just let her finish that conversation. Um, regardless if it took, you know, a minute or two hours, so. Um, I, I mean, I have been in a rush before, so I can't say that, uh, the phone situation, I can't say that I waited, but I can say I, I haven't walked away from my mother while she's talking. So, it's a big no-no. Yeah. Hopefully y'all respect y'all mothers, by the way. You know what I mean? We're going to get, we're going to get into that, though. Yeah. It's time for us to start. Asking y'all the questions. Asking all them questions. How did you feel about this video? Alright, subscribe to Nowsy Nows. Are you so subscribed? Have you seen this video before and did you come here for our reaction? Number three is important. What was your favorite part of this video? I like the song. Yeah. Very relatable situations in this video as far as walking away from your parents while they're talking, interrupting your parents, the bill. You know what I mean? This, you just relate to this stuff, period. If you. You know, if your if your parents disciplined you and they raised you right, you know most kids that were disciplined, you know they came out pretty pretty good. The mm -hmm. other the other half, 
not so good, but we're talking about the good half right now. Uh, you can you agree with me on that? I can agree with you on that. Yeah, I think whoopings, whooping, whoopings made us right. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if kids get whippings anymore, but they should. I'm pretty. Yeah, it works. I'm pretty. I don't. I really don't know. I know the '90s generation and all of that behind that got ass whippings for yeah. discipline. So. <laughs> y'all let us know. 2000 maybe. So if y'all got spanked, like, do y'all get whippings? Or did y'all used to get whippings? There's nothing wrong with admitting to that, too. Like, we're older. We're talking about your past. Your past, you know, how they used to discipline you. So I know I've gotten whippings before. I've gotten plenty of whippings when I was younger. But we know things change. I've seen Gator get whipped in the past. As he probably seen me get whipped. Not as much as you seen me get whipped. Though. Yeah, I've seen him get whipped. A lot. Anyway. Oh, I just had a flashback. <laughs> well, yeah. Keep it cool. Keep it classy. We love you. Stay awesome. Always. And forever.